Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. I think today we're going to continue the theme of Seaton Tramway in the Thursday videos by going back there for some models. They had some model trams set up a few weeks back in Seaton Tramway's Seaton Station, so I went and had a look. Let's see what kind of things I came across inside. Starting off with Pink Tram going past the car park. Okay, so getting into the model portion of the video, we're going to start off with a smaller layout. This layout ran on N-gauge track and was a small oval with a little dip in the middle, just so that it could have a little yard. Um, I was speaking to the owner of this layout, and indeed the operator, and he said he was going for a sort of seat and tramway style, preserved tramway feel, and I feel that he's really captured it. Have a look at this layout and tell me what your favourite part was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I should have put it back in the car. Oh, no. I should have put it back in the car. Yeah. 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 Next up was a very detailed and interesting layout. This layout had a name, but because it was set in Germany, I am probably going to butcher it. I'll give it a go anyway. Jäger Strassenbahn, I want to say? Either way, it's basically like a um, street tramway, except there's loads of different trams running at the same time, and it works on an analog method, no computers involved. I found that incredible. Let's take a look, and just like last time, Tell me your favourite part of this layout in the comments. And that way you can then fit it up because everything I've got here fits in, a, in one of the old style courses. Well, this is going. 
So the final layout for the day was less a layout, more just a sort of running line for the biggest and most impressive tram models I've ever seen in all my days. Look at these things, man. They're just really ornate. Some modelers spent a really long time working on these and I love them. Okay, let's get into having a look at some of them. Now you may have heard like an odd steam train like pup 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 noise at intermittent times during the video. And now I'm going to tell you what that is. It's this. And this is a horse and cart. Probably the most mechanically impressive thing that I think I saw on this big layout. Um, and the best part about this model was not that the horse's legs move in a realistic way, but it was, well, take a look for yourself. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. It's, it's just, 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 just beautiful. Just beautiful. And now I think it would be rude not to spend a moment appreciating the full-scale trams which had been running up and down the line all day. Here's the footage I got of those. Yes. 
that's going to be that guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe I should consider getting some model trams in future. Probably not anytime soon considering I still have the engage to work on. Either way, hope you enjoyed, sub, like, all that. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.